Hello friends, uh, in this video we will see a problem related to the streams and ports. Okay, so another problem related to the streams and ports. So the problem is a boat takes 7 hours to go from P to R through a through a midpoint through a midpoint Q ok so but it takes but it takes 8 hours to go from P to Q and then return from and then return from Q to P UTP. So we have to find how long, how long it would, how long it would take to go from, to go from R to P. Okay, R to P. So a boat takes seven hours to grow from P to R. So there are two points are there. So one is P, another one is certain distance R is there. Okay. So it is going through a midpoint Q. So Q is the midpoint of P and R. So this one is and this one, these both are equal. So it takes a boat takes seven hours to go from P to R. So from here to here. So that means actually P to R. So P to R. So to move from P to R. So it is taking seven hours. It is taking seven hours. So P to R. So it is taking seven hours. So that means it will take. P to Q, it will take how many hours? 3.5 hours. As well as Q to R will also take 3.5 hours. Okay. And next it is given, but it takes 8 hours to grow from P to Q and then return Q to P. So that means, so P to Q and Q to P. So that means actually P to Q and Q to P is taking 8 hours. It's taking 8 hours. So we already know that P to Q is 3.5 hours are there. Okay. P to Q 3.5 hours. So that means Q to P is going to be how much? So 8 minus 3.5. 8 minus 3.5. So that means to move from Q to P, Q to P, so it is going to be how many hours? 8 minus 3.5. Why? Because to move from P to Q, 3.5 hours. So P to Q, Q to P is 8 hours. Then Q to P is going to be 4.5 hours. So 4.5 hours. So that we already know, 4.5 hours. So now we have to find R to Q. Obviously, so the distance is same. Q to P is going to be 4.5 hours and R to Q is also going to be 4.5 hours. So that means I can R to Q is going to be equal to 4.5 hours. So now R to Q and Q to P. So here to here 4.5 hours and here to here 4.5 hours. So to move from so to move from R to P. So that is going to be equal to R to Q plus Q to P. So R to Q it will take 4.5 hours and Q to B it takes 4.5 hours. So that is totally going to be equal to so 9 hours. So that means to move from R to P, so it is going to be take 9 hours. So I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel.